What's up guys? So we've had about three days, give or take, with the new update. And um, here's the bottom line. Here's, I've got so many comments I can't, it seems to be a 50-50 split. In all fairness, I think 50% of the Xboxers, maybe 40% um, are actually happy with this update. And I think that people can fly places they didn't fly particularly uh, well before. And uh, then half of them are saying they have they have issues. I think, and I have a, I have a solution here, and I, I've said this before, I think this would change the Xbox um, experience for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So here's the bottom line, guys. The avionics in the jets, or in the airliners, or in anything, the vision jet, that is entirely the issue of the entire game. Now, for some people, they have to have the avionics to enjoy it. They're cockpit flyers, and they want to use every single system, which I totally, totally, I, I totally get, totally agree with, and you also deserve to use that, no question. But I think that the avionics in all aircraft that has to do with the displays, the black screens, things of that nature, should be optional. In terms of functionality, not black screens, but if they can figure out a way to either have it in the settings to, to have non-functional avionics, meaning your screens are still lit up and stuff, but it's not functional. Because in my simulation experience in the last three days, all stuttering is to do with the screens popping on and off, guys. The, in particular, the Xbox is not with PC. I'm going to get to PC in a minute. The Xbox cannot handle it. Now, in addition to what I'm saying, I think it also depends on what type of flyer you are. If you're the type of flyer that is not making content and you want to sit in the cockpit above the clouds, I don't think you're going to have any issues, guys. Maybe on the airports when you take off, depending if they're third party. But if you're just flying in the cockpit, the game doesn't have to render all of the scenery. You understand what I'm saying? Like the way I fly, I am gonna, I'm going to be the most demanding flyer on the game because I fly low, high action, crazy camera angles, and the game has to render everything I'm doing in addition to the systems inside the aircraft. So for me, Xbox was never going to work. And that's why I just, I, I knew this week after the last update, you know, the limit had been reached. I need to move on. If I'm going to continue this, which I love, um, I'm going to I'm going to go to a PC and I'm going to tell you guys why I'm going to do that in a second. But uh, yeah, I think that that would be the solution is to disable the functionality of the avionics as an option. That's better than not flying. Am I right? Imagine if you could just disable that all the stuttering and every issue I'm having, including CTDs, is the game trying to trying to just have the functionality and ability to do the screens and all the data that that is taken up especially in like like I said planes like the Rafal where there's huge screens or the B2 I think that would be that has to happen um now now Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 could it solve all that I guess I mean there's got to be a reason they're making the new game other than just a cash grab I believe I would hope and uh, maybe maybe they've had found a solution they haven't found in the last four years. I honest to God, with the bottom of my heart, do not feel that will happen. I think the Xbox as is until they make a new Xbox just is not the way to play this game. End of story. It's not it's not the way to play a simulation this demanding. Okay. Now the PC. The reason I'm going to the PC and it's going to happen quick here is because the freeware alone, guys, the freeware alone, I could rack up thousands of dollars of value there. I've been looking for the past week just on freeware alone. The first thing I'm gonna do is get the C-17 Globemaster. I can't remember who makes that. That's a phenomenal plane. It's absolutely free. I'm so sorry that we don't have that on Xbox. It's just unfair. It's just wrong, dude, that the Xbox player can't have all this stuff. Get the free shit in there. Let's go. These guys pay the exact same money as the, the, the PC guys. Like I said, guys, I'm not making this a rant today. I really am not. I'm just saying if, 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 if Microsoft would have simply said, guys, to get this game on the Xbox, we had to use a lighter version. You're not going to have all the options that the it, it's not going to be as good as the PC is what I'm saying. Basically, you need to know that before going in. Then I would have said, well, they told me from the start. 
You know, how can I be mad? They told me from the start. It's right there. It's called transparency. Transparency is key. Everything I do on this channel or in life is transparent. Transparency is what everybody wants. That way nobody's shocked. There are no surprises to when you get in something and you're like, hey, jo I, I have new simmers, brand new people to the game commenting to me they have no idea what it's about and say hey josh i just bought this plane uh this 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 doesn't work and i'm like yeah dude that's normal and they're like what are you talking about what do you mean i just i just bought this what do you mean it's normal and i just i, I don't even know where to begin it's hard to even you know articulate all the facts because i've been playing for so long but uh yeah the avionics is is where the problems are with the xbox i truly believe that because I paid attention. Right when I have stuttering, I go in the cockpit and my screens are flashing off and on. So that seems to be the problem. But the PC, um, the PC, like I said, I want to get back to where I was saying. The Xboxers, it seems almost split in the middle. A little bit uh, suede, but a lot of people are having a better experience, at least being able to fly. If you're a flyer like myself, the experience has not been good, guys. The ground looks absolutely atrocious. I can't really make a top tier video. This is a simulation. Everybody knows it's not real, but I'm trying to make my video as realistic as I can. And when I'm flying like 10 feet over Belfast and everything's popping up and then when I pa fly past it, everything disappears. It, it looks like total shit. And they are just trying, they're struggling to make the game work so that it doesn't use all the RAM because the Xbox doesn't have enough RAM. Uh, that's from the beginning. That's been the, uh, that's been the problem there. So the PC uh, reviews, I've had a lot of uh, people playing the PC that are commenting to me, and there there seems to be about 95% successful. 95% successful. And uh, I have so many comments. I've probably had 100 comments this week alone saying, when you go to PC, it's going to be a whole nother world. And I'm super excited to do it, guys. And I can't wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get... My goal is to get a PC. Here's my goal. I want to get a PC... That is going to absolutely work, but not going to cost $8,000. I'll find the solution. That's what I do in life. I win. I don't lose because I'm dedicated. Like, I won't stop. I'll find a PC out there that I can come to my viewers and say, guys, this is a whole everything we've been wanting and complaining about for the past two to three years. I've solved. It's this one, this exact specs. Here's where you get it. Bam. Bam. And it is absolute, I'm having the time of my life. All the problems, gone, okay? That's the goal here, and that's what I'm gonna, uh, that's what I'm gonna do, and I will do it. I promise you that. So uh, it's an exciting time for me still. And like I said, I am gonna keep my Xbox, guys. I don't abandon people. I have a military mind frame. Like, even on Call of Duty, if the game, and I know I'm gonna die. This is just who I am, and I know I'm gonna die trying to go back and save this dude. And I have no revives left, which is a Call of Duty term. I I'm not going to leave that, dude. I don't care if I have a loaded, stacked uh, backpack full of everything. I'm going to trickle back and get that last dude. I can't leave him hanging. It's against my code. It's against what I'm all of them about. I don't leave people hanging. And you shouldn't either. Don't leave people hanging. Okay? That's not the way to be. be have honor. Be noble. Have integrity. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have my Xbox still. My wife also plays games on it. So uh, I'm going to have my Xbox. And as long as everything can be tested on Xbox, because I work with a lot of good developers. When I get a PC, I probably work with everybody. Every single person. I, I mean, that's how it should be. Because I'm going to tell the truth in a fashion. I'm not putting anybody else down that, that you're just not going to see. I've watched thousands of... You just don't see the transparency and like real talk. Listen, I'm a... I'm a high professional in real life. I haven't worked in a while, but like I know how to talk very, very intelligently, like extremely intelligently. My vocabulary gets insane in a business setting. That isn't what I'm here to do, though. I'm going to talk to you like me and you are on the corner. I'm going to say, buy this shit yesterday. I'm not going to try to act like Mr. Smart, watch every single word I say, absolute, acute, perfect English. That's that's not what I am. I don't want to be like that, dude. That's, that's boring and that's not what people, people want a real dude. Like, are we on the street? Josh, do I do this or not? That's what I'm here to do. But anyways, yeah, the sim update, guys. Uh, it has some pluses for me too, even on Xbox. Like, I have a shot. Um, it's, there's CTDs, but I'm going to have a shot at flying at like Miami. The one place I'm still struggling, guys, is San Diego. Man, I just cannot get that to really perform well. 
And uh, Hawaii, I think I've had a couple of issues where it was stuttering so bad and the, uh, the keys here in Florida. So, uh, and there's other issues, guys. We've been over it enough times for me not to mention it here, but that's the overall census. Bottom line, I think it's almost a split in between. There's a lot of happy people, which I'm glad. If you're happy, you don't have to convince anybody of that. Just say, no yours is working great. And for your flying style, everybody's is different. Every single person flies different. So they are my, like some people say, Josh, mine's working great. And I'm assuming, and I know they're not flying anywhere near in the fashion that I fly. Not that something's wrong with the way they fly. It's just going to be a lot less demanding on the machine. And it's going to be able to handle that type of flying better. So, but I'll give you transparency, guys. That's it. I don't want to make this uh, video too much longer, but that's the consensus. And I, I think there's got to be somebody watching my video. At least one Microsoft employee knows who I am. And it's probably not in a favorable way. They probably don't like me, but I don't know how you can dislike a guy that's coming straight from the heart. And I'm never wrong. Never wrong. Everything I've said about the Xbox and everything, the way they should run the business is 100% absolutely right. I told the absolute truth. So, but if you're listening, and uh, I don't know if you are, entertain, at least consider dis having an option to disable avionics for the next game. If you haven't figured it out yet, disable avionics to where we still have the screens, or even the developers may be able to do it. Like, uh, for example, and I'll, I'll leave you guys with this thought, um, Heatler, the Heatler F-14, India Fox Techo, and the Tornado, I believe, you can go in the cockpit and you do the jester thing and you can click, hey, do you want jester to talk? Do you want this, that, or the other? Maybe the developers can make on their jets disable functionality, not the screens themselves, like the functionality of the data processing of the screens um, and just have the displays like they're working. So then you can fly up and have a good time without the game constantly trying to process the data and the scenery, okay? It's, it's, it's a no-brainer. That's my two cents, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. We've all had three days to fly. Make it a great day. Peace.